like, yeah, just three million pound car on track. We have the most Here we have a fake Formula One car. So, so I thought I'd be able to... So today I'm at the Silverstone race circuit and I am here with McLaren to test out the new 750S. Now, as you may know, I had a 765 LT Spider previously. It was an XP car, so a developmental prototype. And um, I got rid of it before I got to take it on track. So McLaren kindly let me know that I could take one of their 750s out on track with race driver Joe Osborne. So he um, actually used to race in GT cars. Now he commentates on it. So um, yeah, I couldn't say no, um, but I'm at Silverstone and I want to show you a few things before before I get out on track. First things first, Pagani Huayra in full exposed carbon. This car was on track earlier and it sounds menacing. Um, I, I'm not brave enough to take my three million pound car on track, but obviously someone else is um, and I rate them for that, I respect that. But not only do we have a full exposed uh, Huayra, we also have this wonderful white example here as well, which is also going on track. So um, people are, again, are a lot braver than I am. And I've seen um, videos of uh, Pagani's going on track that didn't end well so it's nice to see people are brave enough to take their cars out i am here with mclaren so let's check out the mclaren 750s there's going to be a, a wild and quick uh, walk around of it because i'm going out in a second you never realize how big these pit lanes are until you get here and you have to walk it here's the 750s um it's a gorgeous looking car let's uh let me let me take you around it and let's see uh Let's see some bits for the 750S. I'm here today with McLaren. This is the McLaren 750S. Uh, I... So, um, hold up. Uh, basically, I recorded this whole scene and the mic wasn't working. So what I'm going to do now is give you a nice talk through with this wonderful voiceover, as long as this is working. So um, the 750S is a stark improvement over the 720S. It looks slightly different. As you can see, it still keeps the eyes from the 720S. The exhaust on the rear has changed and they've now included this 3D printed vent sign. Um, I have something called trip tripophobia, so it kind of makes me itch, but it looks cool. It's also got the wing from the 765LT Spider, so it's slightly longer. You have the upgraded brakes from the 765LT. The car is 30 kilograms lighter it has 30 more horsepower and 30 more pounds feet of torque but um that's enough for now let's uh jump in the driver's seat and let me show you the 750s around the track i'm on board with a real race driver <laughs> so um it's hard to drive and talk i never realized how difficult it is uh until today but I'm here with Joe Os Osborne and we're on the Silverstone, the full uh, Grand Prix circuit in a McLaren 750S and I need to brake. Yeah, G-Force, I love it. So I thought I'd be able to talk easily whilst doing this and I've realized talking and, and driving fast uh, is, is a skill that I have not yet mastered. Um, instead of talking, you're just going to hear me making uncomfortable sounds when I hit the brakes really hard. I don't know if Joe thinks I'm <laughs> thinks I'm a Formula One driver. But I'm just a regular dude, and I break too uh, too late. Oh, we still got round. <laughs> yeah, the wet line. We were saved by the McLaren stability control and ABS as we catch up with two Beatles um, previously stated by Joe himself. Uh, <laughs> these uh, cars aren't as fast as we are. So there we go, around Amelia, back on the racing line. And then some hard braking now. And then off the brake, roll it. Hard brake, in, then hard brake. And then rotate the car around, whoops. Yeah. Yeah. So I, what I'm going to do after that moment is not talk and just drive now. <laughs> nice cars. My lap was with um, race car driver Joel Osborne. He uh, commentates on British GT and he also won in Bar Race. <laughs> Casual Pagani Huayra flying around um, as we have a three-way battle going on. On track experience with a proper racing driver and not me who thinks I'm a good racing driver, but... 
to the regular dude with fast cars. So all in all, the McLaren 750S was pretty much epic on track. It's exactly what I expected it to be. Um, it doesn't have as much, I feel, mechanical grip as my 765LT had, but seeing as this is the 750S, that is to be expected. The way I see the 750S, and I hope the McLaren people don't get angry at me, I see it more like a 765 Touring. That's not a bad thing, that's actually a positive. The 765 is a great car, it has so much grip, it has a lot of performance, however it's not a car you necessarily want to drive every day. Whereas with the new 750S, I feel like you can get in it, go to the shop knit and go to Silverstone and do a lap if you wanted to. It's suited for everyday tasks as well as the you know high performance stuff which is something that I look for when I buy a supercar. So I I think for me it makes it more appealing than the 765 LT. On track the 750S I noticed the only thing was under braking, um, heavy braking conditions it will get light on the rear just because there's so much weight transfer to the front. The wing popping up does aid it a little bit but it would get a bit light and a bit skittish but at least it gives you something to do when you're going around the corners. In relation to that later on in the video you can see what a car with a lot of aero is like on the track. Uh, yeah I may have taken a car on the track. Let's see. Here's, here's, here's Joe, look, look, epic racing driver. Here's a very nice in car. Very similar to the 720S, but with the 765 elements added, I think it's a nice, um, nice improvement over the 720S. And I think McLaren have done a good job. They've obviously refined it. Um, reliability is now better than it has ever been with the 7 Series platform. So you can be confident if you get this, it will work and work all the time, which wasn't the case with previous McLarens. But a lot of McLaren issues were from people not trickle charging their cars. So you have to keep them on charge. We have another Huayra pulling up into the garage. Gorgeous. Look at it. What a beautiful car. So fun fact, I just spoke to the guys at McLaren and, um, uh, well, McLaren at Pirelli, because this is a Pirelli sponsored day. And they said, look, if you want to get on the track on the GT3 RS, you can do. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah, just put the stickers on and away you go. So I've got stickers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they said I can go on track if I want. Around Silverstone in the GT3 RS, the car should be warm now. We're chasing another GT3 RS. The difference is, I think he's on uh, Trofeo tires, where I am not. But he's pushing because he realizes that I'm now chasing him. <laughs> Now he's realized that we're going so much faster that he has to let me by. But we have just done three pretty fast laps. So I should probably let the car cool down a little bit. So what we do is when we cross the finish line this time, I'll just go around at a sensibly casual pace. This car has so much grip, I feel like every corner is just gonna make it. So uh, yeah, we're running out of fuel and I did three laps. So um, you, that's not great, because <laughs> I had half a tank. But now I no longer have half a tank. <laughs> Um, yeah, compared to the McLaren 750S, the McLaren has a lot more power. Um, because of that, it feels like you're going faster around corners than this, and that's just because you have to brake a lot less. Um, and the reason you have to brake a lot less uh, is because you're not going as fast. But um, they're very, very similar. The steering in the McLaren is definitely better, um, where you have that hydraulic steering rack, you have the instantaneous feedback from the road, whereas here, it does feel a bit light, it feels a bit damp, um, but you can get used to it, but again, it's not giving that natural feeling that you get in the McLaren. But one thing that the Porsches is good for is that um, I could do this over and over and over and over and over again and not worry about the car, um, which is a bonus. Um, but if you really want a track day car, do you actually want to spend, uh, like I spent on this, 250k and all the money you spend buying other Porsches to be able to buy one of these, or will you just buy yourself a used 720S? I don't know, you could buy a new McLaren 750S, but personally, if I had a new 750S, I'm not sure I'd want to take it on track, just because it's uh, such an expensive and powerful car. Um, but if, you, if you're braver than I am, that's fair enough. But uh, for now, uh, we're gonna maybe go into the pits, let the car cool down, maybe go out again, but we had some, we had some cool laps just then. Yeah, that was, um, that was an epic. Taking uh, my own GT3 RS around the track was, um, 
an experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's different when it's your car though, because if something happens, it's your fault and you have to pay for it. But it was, it was fun. Um, I really enjoyed it, but I wanted to show you this. Uh, the Pagani Huayra, there, there's another one. So there's three of them here today. And then gorgeous. Then over here, we have a, a Ferrari uh, 296 GT car looking gorgeous it sounds amazing i wish the original 296 sounded like this but it sounds amazing on track it looks good going around on track and um, hitting some very very fast fast corners it absolutely annihilated me in the gt3 rs on the straight because he has the power and i don't and also slick tires really help i want to take the gt3 rs on track again and i will do uh in the future but before that i've got peak district coming up but um mccarran 750s rundown okay 750s great improvement over the 720 um, over the 765 it's miles better on road you can actually use it um, it's more comfortable inside but it still manages to do the track stuff which again is what what you want so it's like the perfect balance between the two 765 is very hardcore but you're not missing much with the 750 there's a little bit of power but does it really make a difference not really um, I would <laughs> I wasn't sure, I was skeptical about the 750S originally. I, I honestly wasn't sure if it was a car that I would recommend to people or a car that I would like. But um, after being out in it today and driving it around track, I'm thoroughly blown away. But um, this was a casual vlog. Stay tuned, I'm going to the Fairmile pub in Cobham to uh, a Porsche meet. So I'm going in my G3 RS covered in bugs. And then I'll be talking about it and driving, uh, driving down there. But I've got a two hour drive ahead of me. So I'll see you guys in a minute. But thanks for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate every single one of you. Another casual, casual video today. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. But uh, yeah. Tommy Auto, keep it, keep it locked. So uh, yeah, I've just got back from Silverstone. I'm at uh, Fairmile in Cobham at this wonderful Porsche meet. Um, as you expect, there's tons of 911s, tons of Caymans and Boxsters. Uh, it's my mission today to find, <laughs> it's my mission today to find a Panamera. And I haven't seen a single Panamera, so I'm very disappointed that there's a Macan. Uh, Boxster 911, look, there's tons of cars here. Um, the most uh, special looking car, I feel, is uh, this wonderful 911 here. Um, this is my favorite generation of 911. I want to get a turbo one, but um, I've, uh, I've been unable to. And also, uh, these cars, if you crash at like speed, you might die just because safety regulations weren't as uh, good as they are now. But yeah, I think this is the best car here. Tons of cars, Brad's on the camera right now. And um, what I want to do is show you my car, which is um, my second favorite car here, uh, which is over there. Uh, uh, do you know one thing about this event? Everyone starts their cars and starts like ragging it straight away. And I'm just like, isn't your car cold? Anyway, um, here's uh, Babs 911 in the Yanomai's Live sticker. Um, sticker what would you call it livery livery, livery and sticker livery so that looks it looks like a race car which it looks like anyway but with a livery it just looks crazier but so you have 718 spider here and then you have a 718, 718 spider rs which um looks very mean and my favorite part about the 718 spider rs is uh this little intake here that um sucks air by your by your ears pause uh, and here we have brad's um known to the channel gt3 rs with a jcr exhaust and it's um it's pretty lame uh you, you don't have to go extra just because it's your car look at that two big holes you like you like them big holes don't you boy uh, and then uh, obviously my gt3 rs with um, the pirelli stickers still on the side um fresh from the track um, it was great on the track but driving it after driving a 750s probably isn't the best idea because the 750s is so fast but um that has a lot of error so around the corners epic but uh, brad sorry you've been holding this for a while let me um spin it round um, but yeah, that is, um, that's pretty much my day. Uh, I have failed to find a Panamera, which is my one task for today. So um, we go again, we go again next time. Um, I'm hungry, but there's no food. So yeah. <laughs>